Hello, and welcome to another meeting of the Lotus Council. So what do we got today? We got a set booster box of Dominary United. So, if you saw the collector booster, you know I'm on the hunt for lilies. And I'm not doing too bad on that. Watch the video to see how far along I am. So, let's get this. Um, ooh, I do like how they're doing the toppers in these. It's kind of just tossed in there for the other comes right off really easily. It's got cool art on one side, cool art on the other side. That is a fun root walla. So let's go ahead and do this quick. And as you know, I like to do openings for purpose. So let's go ahead and say that we will be making a deck from this. So it depends what we get. Planeswalkers will do Oathbreaker. Um, we might do a commander deck. We might do a Brawl deck. But we might do a Popper deck. That's right, you heard me. So I'm going to take all the un or all the commons from this set and put them together, and we might have a Popper deck. It depends on what we get and all of that. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so art card. Got one of the cool lands. So common, 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 common. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Rada. Najal, King Darian, and a Tolarian Geyser with a bird token. So put the tokens up there. So I am going to pull the commons aside just for Sealed Popper. And we'll have to figure it out, but maybe if this video gets enough likes, see we got the lands, those are fun. I may actually take this and go play it <laughs> at Popper Night at my... LGS and report back on how well I did. Ooh, Caves of Kolios, so we'll put those there. And we got an Urg, Spawn of Turg, which is a frog beast. And a, yeah, I'll put that there. And then a soldier token. So, we do have a lot of legendaries. Uh, a lot of the legendaries are ending, ending up at that cool frame, so we'll pick one of those legendaries to be the legendary of choice. Okay, so... there. We got an Archangel of Wrath. We got another Urg spawn, and we got a Cavern Harpy, which is a common from one of the older sets. I believe that's Plane Shift. Eh. Yeah, creatures weren't great back then. You were happy with what you got. Kind of a deal. So, ooh, Relic of Legends, I'm actually going to put here with the rares. So that was a great one. So Tora. So we got Lanawar Loam Speaker. Pretty good. It's the uh, buy box promo. There's an extended art foil. Yeah, it's pretty decent. So we got a Benelish Faith Bonder and one of the game tokens. So kind of starting out slow. Not too spicy. Hopefully picks up a little bit. Just a little bit, please. Okay. Okay, so we got a Sarah Redeemer and a Sulphur Springs and a Molten Monstrosity with a Sapperling token. So, Sulphur Springs is a good one. I don't know if you've seen the original Sulphur Spring art, arts, but there's a little demon chilling in the pond. Guess he chilled, or they chilled too long. And now there is the remains of said demon in the pond because it's a little bit too hot. All right. Ooh, I like Pilfer. This is actually a really good common. Okay, so Tori, we got a Golden Arsony, and a Queen Allele of Rubrock. I'm mispronouncing that. I don't know how to pronounce that. Yeah. All right. Let's keep it going. Hopefully get more spice. Oops. So we were going to do the commons off to the side. Oof, another... Clerk, a Joyra in that, then a Keldon Flame Sage, and a Ron Benalia's Ruin with an Elemental Token. So I'm really hoping they didn't take these like they did with Ominary or with uh, Baldur's Gate and just nerf them. Ooh, I like the Force though, to basically nothingness. All right. 
Oh, we got something spicy there. So we got our first mythic, a Jaya. So I don't know where to put, I guess I'll put mythics here with those lands. And we got a Micromancer and a Goblin. Wait, no. That is uncommon. So we got our first mythic of the box. Decent mythic to get. Jaya is going to be fun to see in the set. All right. We got da, 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 Silver Scrutiny and a Molten Tributary with a Dragon. So, eh, I don't know that we'll get there with these because those tap lands are actually taking up a spot. So, Mountain Peaks. But it does help with some of the mechanisms. Okay, so Cut Down, Jota's Codex, Connoisseur, Azar, a Baird, which is actually really good. We got a Jensen Carthillian Druid Ex Exile, which is from the Commander decks. But it is Mythic, Temporary Lockdown. I like that one. Gibbering Barricade, which is a common and a Clockwork Dragon. So it is rare from Meriden block. Comes into play with six plus one plus one counters. Whenever it attacks or blocks, remove a plus one plus one counter at the end of combat, but you can pay three to put counters on it. So could be fun. Summon Marsh. All right. The Warren Chief. This is actually really good with the domain. So these, yeah, it does really good. And then we got that art. Ooh, we got a Voldair. Vodalian Hexcatcher for Merfolk. Shenanigans. Fires of Victory, which is a great. Coming in reality, Hemrich. It's devoid. Um, yeah. So it's basically two for a colorless, you know, creature or player damage. So it doesn't have planeswalkers. All right, Fires of Victory, Phoenix Chick I love, and a Patron. Then we got an Urborg person, Benelish Sleeper, and a Soldier Token. So almost halfway through the box. Nothing is sticking out as being super spicy right now. So we'll see. Okay. This is actually a really good card because it makes... So you can't gain life. Your opponents can't gain life. That's really good. That. Ooh. Speaking of not being very good. <laughs> yeah, we got a, We got the Lotus, y'all. Which is pretty decent. Zombie. So it, it's five to come in tapped, but it taps for Wooberg. So five mana. So usually in Commander, you're wanting to play mana rocks that will do at least half the casting cost to get back. So this is giving you the entirety of the casting cost back. There's not a lot of artifacts that tap like that. It does come in tapped, but you know what? There's things like oops, Amulet of Vigor. There's also the um, Turtle Commander. I can't remember the name. Okay, Queen. So we got a Lenoir Green Widow. Okay, and a Coalition War Brute with a Beast Token. So, Timeless Lotus, you ha you'd have to play it in a five-color deck, but it's giving you the Woo Bird. So, that's definitely worth it. So, it does cost five, but theoretically, you could get it out a bit quicker. Okay, so, Inlet. Okay. Warhost Gar Garna. Da -da -da -da. We got a Ralph, we got a Defiler of Flesh, and a Geothermal Blog with a Phyrexian token. Alright, so we're halfway through. We've got true two mythics. Two true mythics. I swear I speak English. Karn. I love the Bone Splinters art. I really do. Okay. Rada's Firebrand, Rona's Vortex, and an Insect token. So, I mean, I could build a red Oathbreaker deck, so we might do that. We could definitely build a Brawl, we could definitely build a Commander, and I think we're going to have a good enough pool for a Popper deck. I don't know how good the Popper deck will be, because, you know, sealed jank. 
Denitha, and a Maganoth Sentry with a token. So, Honestly, I have a draft booster box, and that may be a bit better for doing a sealed popper deck from. But we'll, we'll see once I get my card pulled together. And I'll just have to watch the next video from this. Ooh! So that goes there. So we got a Soul of Wind Grace, Cat Avatar, for our third. Ooh! So, Primeval Warden, foil. But then we got an Oxus Toad. Hmm. I think that's supposed to be Graveyard. For that one. Not 100% sure, though. I'm going to have to go look at the... It's from Portal. If Noxious Toad is put into your discard pile from play, your opponent chooses and discards a card from their hand. So, I love the basics. I'm thinking what that's supposed to be is... Yeah. So, that... So, we've got a... Frame of a War, and this is actually a super great card in Limited. I think it might actually work well in Standard 2 for Golgari. Might build that. Then Urborg Repossession with a game token. So, again, we'll just kind of see what happens. Ooh, we got a signed art card for Wrath, Weatherlight Captain. Okay. Carpelusian Forest, finally another land. So we're kind of low on the lands there, and an automatic librarian with a soldier token. So, just a few more packs left in this box. Really do appreciate people watching the video. Ooh, that's a fun one. Looks like a dragon. All right. So, Urg, Baird. Threats undetected and Florifius Vinewall with the Goblin token. So, I mean, this is doing okay. Really could do with another heavy hitter here. By down, really good card actually. So, I'm getting three or four commons and then a massive pile of uncommons. So, Cosmic Epiphany, Thram Portal, which is a land, so I'll put it with the lands. But then we got a Relic of Legends foil. I would get those in foil um, if you can, because I think they're going to be spicy. And other people think they're going to be spicy. So it's three for tap one mana of any color, but it has tap an untapped legendary creature you control, add one mana of any color. Foil Swamp. Sheila Rod the Apocalypse. This is an incredibly good card. I love it. But unfortunately, people don't. They try and remove it. Mm. Whenever you draw a card, you gain two life. Whenever an opponent draws a card, they lose two life, and it's got death touch. And then we got Squee, which makes me happy. Ooh. Samite Herbalist and a Witch Stalker. So it's got Hexproof. And whenever opponent casts a blue or black spell during your turn, put a plus one, plus one counter on it. Mmm. Really punishing those blue and black players for trying to remove your stuff. And 14, so it is Pioneer legal. I play Pioneer just badly. All right. Mons, Mons. Ooh. Sokol. Solklanar. Ooh, it's tainted. I can't pronounce today. And then we got another one of those and a dragon token. So we're at one, two, three, four, five mythics. So doing a bit better. Uh, we're only at three of the pain lands. I need more. I always need more. Okay. Oh, Raf. So now another Raf, Garna, and an Urborg Lurgoif. With a Voda Sea Scavenger with a Soldier Token. So we've just got five packs left. Let's finish out strong. Hopefully, get another Mythic. I need one of my gals to show up. 
All right. Love Lightning Strike being in here. Relic of Legends, I'm pulling those aside. Jill, Rona, Atacar Waste. So another copy of that one. So that is good. With a Battlefly Swarm foil and a treasure token. So, box is doing okay. I think it could be spicier. It can always be spicier. Tatiova. We got Turna, Defiler of Vigor. We got Aerona, Sheila Rod's Faithful. Um, wow. Okay. Um, Chain of Smog. That is a good one. That is a really good hit from the list. It's one of those cards that spiked. Because that's basically the printing. All right. Ooh, another signed art card. This time for Zur, Eternal Schemer. We got ourselves the island. Scribe Tapu. Da, da, da. Voldar. So another Tatiova, Aether Chronicler, Brark Reef Crusher, and a bird token. So really hitting it hard with that Chronicler. So pulled quite a few of them. Okay. Briar Hydra, Shadow Rite Priest, Rancher Child, and a Spirit of the Labyrinth, which is another really good hit from the list. Okay, last pack. Can we get that Lily? I need her. I need her so badly. All right. Da 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 da. Oop. Okay, so we got Urza assembles the Titans and a cut down foil and a game token. So, anyway. Not too bad, so for... sorry about that. My video, uh, my camera died. So as I was saying, just, yeah, thank you for coming to today's video. If you're on the lookout for cards, go check out our friends over at Geekified. You can find them at geekifiediowa.com. And we do appreciate you spending time with us, and we hope to see you next time. So with that, that's all we have for today. And our meeting is now adjourned. Let's keep on the lookout for what deck I build with you. So thanks again, and have an absolutely fantastic day.